Hi, my name is Deborah Sable Thornbrew and I'm your instructor. And in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to insert a bookmark link into a Microsoft Word 2016 document. We all know what a hyperlink is, right? A hyperlink is something you click on that will then open up a browser or take you to a particular website or web page on the internet. Well, a bookmark inside a Word document does the same thing, except instead of connecting you to a web page or anywhere on the internet, it connects you to a specific location within the document. I'm going to show you how to do a very basic bookmark. First of all, we're looking at a document on my screen that is about six pages long. So let's say that I'm somewhere down in the uh, fifth or sixth page and I really need to get back to the beginning of the document. I can scroll all the way back to it or I can click a bookmark and it will instantly return me to that part of the document I want to see. So the first thing that you do is you have to create the bookmark. Tell Word where to place the bookmark. So let's say I'm going to do it here. I'm going to have a link, a bookmark link, placed here and the very first word in the main title of the first page of the document. That's where I want to go. So I select the text and then I go to the insert tab and I go to the links button here. Now when you're doing a bookmark there are two different things you have to create. The first thing you have to do is make the bookmark happen and then after you do that you have to create the link to the bookmark. So first I need to place an invisible bookmark where the word skiing is highlighted. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click the bookmark button. And in the bookmark dialog box, I'm going to give this bookmark a name. I'm going to call it top of page one. Now take a look at this. I've typed out a name, but the add button that I have to click in order to make the bookmark happen is grayed out. It's not clickable. Why is that? Because the bookmark name cannot have spaces in it. So what I need to do is get rid of the spaces in between the words. And most people use the common naming convention, which means you place an underline or what they call an underscore in between the words. So I'm going to delete the spaces and just put an underscore in between them. Now if I look over here the add button is available. So I'm going to go ahead and click add and now that bookmark has been made. Well where do I want the link to be where I want to click to return to this part of the page? Let's put one at the very very end of the document. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom and I'm going to click place my flashing insertion point here and this is where the actual link will be that will take me to that bookmark. So now I click the links button again and this time instead of bookmark I click link. Now this is the same dialog box that you would use to create any kind of hyperlink to a website or anywhere on the internet. But what you've got to do is make sure that you select this choice, place in this document. The default setting is usually this one, existing file or web page. But we want place in this document. And when you do that, when you click that, then this display here, it will show you any heading styles that have been already placed throughout the document. Okay, you can see right here it says headings and all the heading styles that have been placed can show up here. If you create a document with no heading styles applied at all, you won't see anything here. You have to have heading styles in there. So I'm going to go to the very bottom of the page and there's the bookmark that I created earlier. I called it top of page one and there's the little underscores that I made. So I'm going to select that one and before I click OK I have to go up here and decide how I want the link to look 
in the document, at the bottom of the document. Do I want it to say this, top of page one? No, I really don't. I want it to say something else. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to delete that. Even though that's the name of the bookmark, I want it to display some other name. So I'm going to say return to top of page one. Now if you also want a screen tip to display off of your mouse arrow, you can do that. You can click screen tip and then put a screen tip in there. Return to top or back to top or whatever you want to say. And I'm going to click OK. So I've set that up. I've got my text to display on the page for the link itself. I've got my screen tip entered and I've selected the bookmark. So now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So there's my link. Return to top of page one. Now if I wanted to, I could change the color of this link to make it a darker blue. So I'm going to click and drag to select that. Give it a bright blue color and maybe bold. Okay, so now if I hover my mouse over this, you're going to see two things. You're going to see the screen tip I wrote out that says return to top. And then you're also going to see the instruction Control plus click to follow the link. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Press Control on my keyboard and then left click. Notice the little hand, pointing hand. When you press Control over a link, that's what you'll see. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click. And it worked. It took me right back to the very top of the document. So if I wanted to delete that bookmark or make other bookmarks or changes, I can just go into the links, go into bookmark, and make some changes here if I wanted to. Go into links and click the link button if I wanted to make changes here. And that's the basics on how to insert a bookmark into a Word document.